Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to keyframe the wiggle expression in After Effects. In this example, I'll be using it to generate a random animation for a bar graph. So that the bars only grow in the Y dimension, we'll also be isolating the wiggle to only affect the Y scale. Alright, let's get started. I'll begin over here in this other composition that's got the bones of the design in it. It's got a line, and it's got the three bars. An important thing to note about these bars is that their anchor point is down at the bottom, so that when the Y scale changes, it'll stay grounded to this line. Now I'll go up to Layer, New, Null Object, and I'll go ahead and drag this to the top of the layer stack, and I'll call it Wiggle Control. Then I'll go up to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control, and I'll rename this effect to be Amplitude. Then I'll lock the effects controls to make sure that this window stays here so I can link back to it with a pick whip. I'll pull up the scale of one of my bars and I'll option click the stopwatch. Then I'll type A equals and I'll use the pick whip to drag it up to the slider here. Semicolon, return, and then I'll type in W equals wiggle parentheses two comma A parentheses. I'll hit return and then I'll do a bracket and type in value zero w one and then I'll close up the brackets. So what we're saying here is we're defining a variable that is the slider up here. Then we're defining another variable that is a wiggle expression that wiggles two times per second at the amplitude of that given slider. Then in this last line we're just saying to use the given value for the x scale and to wiggle the value of the Y scale. When I click away, nothing happens because the amplitude is set to zero. So I'll go over to frame 20 and I'll set a keyframe for zero on the amplitude. Then over at frame 50, I'll change that value to 50. Then I'll go over to frame 80 and I'll pull up the keyframe here and set another keyframe of the same value. And at 110, I'll bring that back down to zero. Then I'll highlight all these keyframes and I'll right click on one and go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. And you can see that the wiggle is working just in the Y dimension and it's keyframed, which is something you can't do with just the expression alone. So I'll highlight my scale for the bar one and I'll go to Edit, Copy Expression Only. Then I'll pull up the scale of my other two bars and I'll go edit, paste. So now all my bars are reacting to the same keyframes. I'll go ahead and twirl these all up to keep things organized. And I'll go over to my project panel and to make these a little bit nicer looking, I'm gonna bring in those fills that I was using in the example. So I'll drag one beneath each of the bars. And then I'll select them all and set their track mat to alpha mat. In order to get the stroke, I'm going to select one of the layers and go to layer, layer styles, stroke. And in those stroke settings, I'm going to change that value to black. And I'll set the opacity to 15. And the position to center. So that way it matches up with this line. Then I can just highlight the stroke here and copy, and then I can just paste it on these other layers. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.